today's tutorial we're going to be looking at the subdivision surface mod uh, modifier while looking at a character and um, using the mirror modifier and a few other tools to to make a model of hello nurse here um, I've loaded the images in the background we've got a front view which looks a bit weird because I've mirrored it to make modeling a little easier and we've got a side view which I've lined up our cube with uh, so to begin I want to uh, stick it into edit mode control R to add a loop press return turn on the uh, limit selection to this uh, visible thing delete the right hand side of the cube uh, up to the mirror modifiers, add a mirror modifier uh, X is right, turn on clipping uh, now with a mirror modifier it's kind of important you get, make sure you haven't got the inside edge or it will mess things up later uh, I'm gonna select everything, scale it down with S uh, scale it down along the X axis just getting it so it's vaguely waist size. Uh, now I'm going to select the bottom face, extrude, um, oops, extrude it down along the Z axis, uh, scale it along the X axis, extrude it down, fairly even spacing. Uh, scale along the x-axis extrude it down again it's probably fine about that uh, just check what we're looking like on the right orthographic view uh, I'm going to scale that along the y-axis and drag it so it's about in line of, with where it's going it doesn't need to be uh, too exacting uh, just shift grabbing the loops I'm making sure I've got the whole loop selected, otherwise we'll end up in trouble. Scale on the y-axis for that one. Just drag it to the right a bit. And shift Alt selects the loop. Scale on the y-axis. Drag it out. It's about there. It's probably close enough for the time being. And let's grab the top face and extrude it upwards. So I'm going to go to about there, it's probably fine, and then extrude up again to just above the arm, again that's probably right. Um, now we probably want to extrude out that way as well, we can always change this if it goes, if it goes wrong, get away with that. Um, at this point I'm going to stick on a subdivision surface modifier um, and crank the view level up to 2 and already you can see how it's smoothed out what we're working on um, I'm going to put a shader on this um, I'm going to use a matte cap this makes the whole thing look a bit prettier as we're working with it um, makes it start to start looking like a bit of clay. I'm also going to put it into smooth shape mode which I'm just looking for. Shading smooth. Oh we're in Blender 2.7 which is the new the newest one which came out about a week ago. It's more or less the same but it's got tabs up the side um, where most of the regular commands are now hidden. Um, I'm going to grab that face there on the side view and um, just drag it out. Actually, I probably want to extrude that out. Let's just check. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll turn clipping off so we can get the, the chest area to some kind of shape. 
No, it's a matter of just grabbing edges in the vertices. Keep keep ch checking your view against the model. Just keep grabbing and sculpting. Grabbing that out there. Now, the bottom edge of this, can you see it's got quite a curve in it? Uh, there are two ways we can sort this out. We can either add in a loop, which as you remember is Control R, and drag it down, which works into pulling it into shape. Um, the other option is we can use the crease tool. Now, if I select those three edges, uh, go, into, go into the transformation bar, which is N to open, which we've forgotten. We've got mean crease and mean bevel weight. If we just turn up the mean crease, you can see it drag itself into shape. Edges with creases on turn pink. Uh, let's go my front view again. Uh, let's grab that face there and move it out a bit. I'm thinking this face here should be uh, probably pulled out too. We'll come back to that. Let's just get a back looking about right. We'll pull both those out. And, uh, let's rotate them, hard to rotate. Just grab You'll notice I keep looking round as I'm as I'm working on the um, sculpting this kind of thing. Keep checking it from lots of different angles to keep an eye on whether it's um, going the way you're hoping. Uh, I've just added an extra loop in there because I decided I needed some more topology. I'm just gonna grab some of these verts and just start making it a little bit rounder. Um, I need to grab the edge to edge select. Just grab it and keep keep aligning it against the reference image. Let's scale that one down a bit. And it's a nice way of working because as you're building you can you can switch up and down between detail levels. Oh, I've made a horrible mistake just to <laughs> just to demonstrate what can go wrong. I forgot to turn clipping back on, which has meant these have pulled away from themselves. If I drag it back in, it should be okay. Um, let's just check my subdivisions. Yeah, we're fine. If you notice it puckering up unexpectedly while you're working on it. Um, you've created a face on the inside edge. Let's put the smooth back on. Oh, no, we're not doing too badly now. I'm gonna grab these two faces and turn off limit the selection. Uh, and move those down and maybe scale them in a bit. So good. Right, because that's not working, I'm going to insert a face, which is um, I for insert, and then scale in, which is going to add some more topology and sort some of our problems out. Control plus to grow the selection, dragging up into position again. I'm not doing too badly. Let's put some arms on this. Now I'm thinking the arms probably want to come out from back here somewhere. As I'm looking at it, those are a bit low. So I'm going to grab those two faces, pull them up. Grab that face too and pull that one up. And it's getting a bit hard to see this, so I'm going to adjust the opacity on my back uh, 
background image, which is this one. Just fade it out. You can move it between the back, of, uh, the background and the foreground. If you put it in the foreground and fade it down, it makes it a little bit easier to see what you're actually sculpting. Uh, I'm thinking my arm is probably going to come out from these two points. Uh, so I'm going to inset those faces using I again. And just select the middle two faces we've created and extrude them out. I'm probably going to rotate and grab them a little bit too. Um, if we were going to rig this, we'd probably want it in more of a T pose with the arms sticking out like a letter T. Um, but for this tutorial, we're not going to bother. Um, I can then extrude down the arms, scaling them down some, grabbing, keeping them in line, uh, scaling them down, rotating them a bit, grabbing uh, right hands. So, right there, rotate a bit, grab, keep them lining up. It's probably fine. Now looking at it, we've gone out of line on the waist. So I'm going to grab that, pull it on, just drag it out until it's matching my underlying, underlying image. Take that, grab it a bit. That's not too bad. It's quite a fast way of working. I'm just looking at my topology now. I'm unhappy with this area. I'm thinking it's got um, chewed up and it's a bit inside the area and that could cause a problem uh, it's a little bit like making a chocolate egg in that it, you just want the skin all continuous and flowing uh, I'm just trying to grab just that polygon there we go grabbed it and brought it up turn my subdivisions back up again and it should be all nice and smooth. And then I'm just going to change my material. We've got a whole range of different materials. And it's nice to see what they all look like. And it kind of lets you look at your model with kind of fresh eyes. Be a bit more objective about what you're looking at. Don't do too badly. Still need some work there just to round up the shape a bit. It's a fairly good start. I think that's probably plenty for the tutorial because you get the idea. Um, now what's nice when you're in this particular mode, you can stick it into sculpt mode um, and kind of smooth areas out. I've, I've, I selected the grab brush there, but if you shift it will smooth out the areas of your selection. And you can also kind of pull and tweak in quite a natural Play like way and round things off a little bit to you happier with the shape. Let's just undo that because we stuck them together because we had the clipping turned on. Got a bit of a crease forming around this arm. So I'm going to get in with the shift tool. Just smooth it out. That's what's nice about these matte cap um, shaders. These are down in the shading section, matte cap. You can just switch them on. And it lets you, <clears throat> it kind of makes it quite evident when you've got lumps and bumps in your mesh. 
<coughs> you've got a range of sculpting tools in here. Uh, I use grab most of the time. Uh, just just for general working up. Uh, now depending on how much topology you've got in there, it might not be doing a lot when you try and work it. You can make the brush a lot bigger, it tends to help. Now my background image isn't clear enough and I can't, can't see through it. Um, so I'm just going to turn the opacity up a little bit. Oops. Just want to grab under the arms and bring it down so it's kind of matching what we're looking at behind. Right, I can live with that. What can I? Let's just stick it back to our lowest topology. Let's turn the matte caps off. Um, solid. Just put the uh, wires on so you can actually see the topology we've created. It's quite a basic low poly mesh. I think it works quite well. You've got the option of exporting a lower level model but baking from a, um, a higher level one. I'm just going to grab that and tweak. Because you're trying to get a nice clean a nice clean flow of polygons with not too much in the way of uh, Jagged edges, and you don't want any any doubles forming, and you also want nice nice smooth quads. Grab that one, bring it back there a bit. Yeah, let's, uh, let's turn the resolution up again, up to about two. You can actually go a lot higher than two if you're so inclined, but it can slow your computer down. Um, and two, two plenty. Um, uh, when you come out of edit mode, you can see the actual topology you've created, uh, but it's not fixed until you apply it. So you can go very, very dense, but it will make your computer grind to a halt. But le level two is a good density. You can work quite a lot with that. And a side view and check it against that. So I think it needs to go in a bit behind the knees there. So we'll pop it into sculpt mode again and just drag that in a bit. Great. That will do for it.